Hello, hello, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be, actually let me start off with saying, I hope you have a good day, you're having a great day, okay? But today we're going to be discussing and reviewing, one of, this is literally our favorite right here, right now, a very anticipated game. Tales, this is our game of the year. This is, this is going to be a fantastic, uh, probably in all. Most definitely going to be in our yearly end game. Tales of Arise. This game is, was is fantastic. Uh, it's it definitely gives you a great story. This story is fantastic. It's it's just like it takes you through so such a journey. Um. You, you have all these characters that you meet throughout your journey. And it's just, it, it's fantastic. Um, and you get, and you learn about all these characters. And you learn about your, the character that you play as. You learn about every, about their whole story. About what brought them there. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, it's fantastic how they, they really put this game together. Uh... They, the mechanics of this game is fluent, smooth. Um, it's just, it's fun. It's it's such a fun uh, battling style and fighting and the concepts that they put in abilities and the amount of effortless energy that felt like went into uh, the the script writing was just intense dude you get all the feels throughout the whole story you get to feel all the emotions and happiness sadness and you also have where they where they put in actual anim, anime scenes in this in this in the game and throughout the story and it, it gives it such a, a change such a uh fantastic feel and it's so well done you get to go to di different areas throughout visit different different uh like, almost like cities and the travels you get there and, and enemies you see and yeah. um upgrades for your characters and different looks you pick up and uh different abilities that each character possesses and upgrades you can give oh my god it they, they did such a great job. So much content that this game literally, once you complete it, makes you you feel like you want to play it again. It gives you that that vibe. Just to I, you know, what, I'm finished. It gives you the, I want more. I want more mentality as you get closer and closer to that story ending. It's just so freaking incredible what they've done and what they were able to achieve. Graphics, with, graphics were great. The graphics were, fun, were fantastic as well. They, 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 they just full package this game up, and it's it. What this game is a hit. It's a, a, a hitter. It's a big hitter. Yeah, it is a hit. Let's let's talk about um, let's talk about why we feel it's a hit. Outside of just story. And combat, like it just has everything that you want in an in RPG. You have, you know, skills that you can build up for each and every character. You, it, it just opens up a full avenue of what you could do and what you can achieve with the characters that you want to, you know, play as. Um, you don't have to just play as the main person. You can play true. as anyone that joins up on your team. Anyone who joins on your team to have you have close combat ones, you have distance ones, you have ones that are a mix of both, and you know it, it depends on how exactly how you want to play battles. You know if you want to be close up and close combat, you can choose the character you want to be close combat with. You want to switch off and be distant while you have other characters doing the close combat, so you're, you're farther back away and you can have support and stuff. Boom! Switch off to that character. The it made this game such so round 
that you're not stuck just playing one character. And you test each one. You test each each character that that joins your 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 group, and see which one you actually which ones you prefer using, which ones you like using for close, which ones you like using for distance, or in betweens. And y'all, you get to select who you actually want to be fighting with you, and who you want to just have assisting with with moves on the side. It's this game was fantastic. It's fantastically done the way the way they set this up. You got you could do side missions or side quests. Uh, you could just go around the map and pick up materials. Let's point this out for real quick, though. There's a lot of side missions. A lot. There's not just like one or two. There's a lot of them. And in, and, in, in, in each location you go to, not just one location, each location you go to, there's a lot of side missions you can do. It could easily take you hundreds of hours to put into this game if you want to really just dive into every aspect of it. Side quests, main story. And also, the best part about a game like this is it can even go even longer than just the main story because they also have an end game of things for you to go do. Which is entirely up to the user if they want to go and do that. Oh, Most yeah. people are going to play the story and just end the game. And the, the story is... The, the, way they, the way they set up the story is fantastic. You know, you, you... You start out with... You start out the way you start out with and you just start to learn more and more throughout the story. And then you start to get a clearer picture of the story, of how everything is transpiring and what's going on. You start to get it further you go in the further you start understanding and the further more your blo your mind gets blown as well so you got it, this game is enjoyable to play this game is definitely worth getting this game is a must get every regard story all the mechanics included everything about this game solid there's not one real major complaint that should stop you from buying this game. The only complaints that we have on this channel, now let's hop into that. Complaints are, we feel that maybe there wasn't just enough time, maybe enough energy to go into battles existing in the overworld. There's some locations where they need, it to, just give, feels they need to give you... Cluster. Uh, some location where they need to give you an area to, like, resupply. There's certain areas where you, you kind of, like, left a little bit out there in the middle of nowhere where you kind of need supplies and you're like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do now? You know? Um, they, as far as, like, the overworld stuff, that definitely wasn't executed as well as it should have been. Just due to the fact that, like, why do we need to go from a from the overworld, have a load screen, to a battle? And then a load screen back to the overworld. Why didn't they just make that exist within the overworld? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. It, 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 the battling, the, like, the battling should, be, should be right in. You know, once you see an enemy, you should go right in the fight and have a, a cut scene to go straight into, into the fight. And then once you finish the fight, a cut scene to take you right back out. It, it, it's a, it takes like it's, major, battles, major battles. I can understand that feature because most games have cutscenes right before a major battle, like against a big boss. Like for instance, the final battle, a boss in a certain town, stuff like that should obviously have cutscenes. Oh yeah, but definitely. A little, but the thing is, we're talking about load screens. Cutscenes they could easily make it seem seamless. They can make a, a cutscene feel like a load screen. A lot of games do this. A lot of games, most RPGs, story-driven experiences do this. For instance, uh, Last of Us or any of these types of games, like their load screens are hidden behind you, you know, climbing a ladder or um, shimmying through a crack in a wall. Like these are common ways to hide load screens but still keep the player playing. And yes, they're, yes, there are... 
Yes, there are uh, ways to, if you want, the, there's like ways to buy things as well from the, uh, the store if you want to. Those are completely optional. Those are not optional. Necessarily, not necessarily like something you have to do, but it's completely up to the person. If you want to do it, you don't have to do it. But they, it is optional for those who want uh, maybe an edge in the story to be able to get maybe a little bit of a head start because of, you know, maybe leveling, maybe have a little extra money, um, maybe having extra supplies because they have like a supply bucket uh, thing that you can buy where it has supplies ready to go for you. There are things for you to be able Those to buy in the store that are completely optional. There's also outfits as well, as well if you want to like... They don't have any relevance it, toward it, 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 not, not, nothing doesn't give any powers or anything. But if you just if you want, if you want, if you give want it, your you, character to look a certain way, they do have skins for you if you want to do that. Not that it's necessary. Oh yeah, of course not. It's not necessary at all. But if you want to, it's it's the option there for you. Wow. But yes, we this game is definitely a must get. Definitely a must must buy. Uh, you have the money for it, definitely. And you're looking for a game to play, and the, that's good. This is the game. This is the game. Definitely nowhere near the avoids that we've mentioned in, like, like uh, the worst game of the year, uh, Hell Let Loose. Oh, no, this is... This is a game that should be in everyone's backlog or in everyone's library. And everyone should just give this game a fair shot. The story is incredible. This game is definitely worth getting. This is definitely one of these games to ask if ask your parents as a, as a gift. If your birthday is in this month, definitely ask them. Say, hey, can I have this for my birthday? Or house or something as a gift for you, of, of a game that you want to play, that you're interested in. There's a... there's. Or save up for it if you if you're working, you're the type of person that's living on their own, no spouse, no whatever. It's one of those games you should have in your your backlog. You should play this. Kind of excited to see what they what they do with the next tales after this one because this this was this was great, it was such a great game. I love just how. When it came to the story, I love just how you can actually look at this story like as in what's going on in this world. There, this world has nothing but negativity in it. Um, the way that the way that we have you know racism involved, they showcase some of that racism in, in you know things that are going on in the world in this game, like. The display of, you know, Renan's not liking, you know, th this race and this race is not liking the Renans. And, like, they just, they put this all on the floor. And they, sh they showcase, like, racism. Discrimination. And discrimination and everything. They're showing this is their way of saying to the world... We can find peace. We just need to find it together and forget the past. And if we start, if we do this together, we can make it happen. They show, like, you know, attitudes of belittling and uh, hatred. You feel this. And then you see like other emotions going on that cannot really be, you know, described, you know, on a level that most people would understand. But it, it's out there. It exists. It's there. And you know, there's as far as you know, ending it. It re will require you to go through, you know, a lot of of learning about each other learning why this side hates this side and why that side hates this side there's a lot of feelings and emotions that you can get from this game that equate 
to what we're feeling in the real world. Which is such a fantastic way to to incorporate what's going on in the world and what's going on in this game. Yeah, you basically yeah. said what I was what I was thinking as well. Um, they, this game does make you think of world, uh, world, uh, what's going on in the world, and what people are going through, and what people, you know, all all that's going on, uh, discrimination and 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 racism as well. It just makes you think, you know, and it it's just incredible how the the story make, makes you just think and you you know give you different perspective on what's going on in the world and how 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 have I been thinking have I been thinking this have I been do I know people that have been going through something like this and it's just fantastic for for this this you know for this game to to do this for this company to, to make bring out these kind of issues in in a game like this and make a and make a fantastic story. A two man crew official rating for this game is a nine point five. There you go. This game has the highest of praises. This game deserves that score and I hope we, we see more games like this um, I do know there's another Tales coming out but it's certain mobile um, I do hope uh, we see that we see more more of this types of game coming to consoles uh, so I hope Really do hope look. Oh, really hoping it does happen. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe down below. Uh, comment down below for any games you any requests for games to review or just any questions in general. And hit that notification bell so you can stay tuned to all of our latest content. And we'll see you guys next time.